Hi there, my name is Kishore Kasim Sethi. I'm a Product Marketing Director for DDR IP at Cadence. Today I'm going to talk about the dual channel DIMMs that are going to be popular for the next generation of server memories. So we'll start with how the server DIMMs are built today for DDR4. They're typically comprise, comprised of a 64-bit data path with 8-bit of ECC, a total of 72-bit wide DIMMs. And these are built, let's say, using, using by 4 DRAMs, a, a sequence of by 4 DRAMs in a dim form factor, and uh, 18 of them make up the 72. Now what is happening in the next generation of um, server memory is the data rates are going to double. DDR4 maxes out at 3.2 gig. If you think about the potential DDR5 speeds are going to be at 6.4 gig. Now the issue is the DRAMs are not fundamentally getting any faster. The circuits are not getting faster. The only way to get twice the bandwidth is to access DRAM, two multiple simultaneous access to the DRAM at the same time. So now imagine there are two streams of data coming in from DRAM. They are piped into two different data paths, right? And, and each of them, let's say, they're 32 bits. Now essentially, instead of one access to the DRAM that goes into the DIM, now you have two accesses. Yes, you double the bandwidth, total bandwidth. And each of these pins, instead of 64, is now 32 bits. So the data rates can go as high to 66.4. Now once you do this data path, unfortunately, the ECC word has to be computed separately for each of these because these are independent accesses. They're toggling between reads and writes independently. So you would ha add a 8-bit ECC on the first data path and another 8-bit ECC on the second data path. Now notice, in this case, the DIM itself, instead of being a 72-bit, now it's going to be 80-bit. So if you imagine it's going to be built by using by, by four DRAMs, now you're going to have 20 DRAMs uh, stacked together to build this uh, dual-channel DIM. So, so essentially, it'll have two channels, two ECC words. This is all great. This will get you the, uh, the bandwidth that you need, and you have these two channels to simultaneously exercise and utilize the bandwidth. However, if you're doing an SOC design today, you want to typically support both the existing generation and the future generation. So essentially, you need a 72-bit DDR4 single channel and a dual channel 80-bit DDR5 support in the same chip. This creates some challenges for both the controller and the SOC within the within uh, so, so, uh, the PHY within the SOC. So Cadence has worked these architectures to be able to switch from DDR4 to DDR5 mode seamlessly without additional area penalty or power penalty. We can reprogram the IOs accordingly to go from 72 bit to 80 bit. We can redo the controller data paths to be able to do that. And if you're interested in adopting the next generation, future-proofing your chip for the, for the next generation server memory, uh, look into Cadence Solutions. Thanks for watching this space.